hello to all my Texas viewers. This video is just for you. We're going to be looking at all the personal lines of credit that Texas has to offer. I still have so many people that are struggling trying to find a local credit union or any bank for that matter to try and find the line of credit, the debt tool, so that you can go and find that proper debt tool to help us do velocity banking and wipe out debt. Listen, the faster you get that line of credit, the faster we can get started with this whole concept, the faster we wipe out debt, the faster we can get to infinite banking and creating wealth and building that kingdom that we want. So the faster you go, the faster we can go together, all right? So look, I, I did some homework. I did some homework, man. We're just gonna run through the list Feel free to, you know, pause the video. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay out of the way. Feel free to just pause the video, write these all down, and just type them in Google and see which ones are within driving distance in your area. I know Texas is a big state. So let's go right into it. Credit Union of Texas, they offer personal line of credit up to 15K starting at 12%. Greater Texas Credit Union, they offer a overdraft line of credit up to 10k you want personal line of credit you know if you really the overdraft line of credit is like a checking line of credit it's attached to your checking account and some of these things sometimes have some restrictions some fees so you want to stick to the personal line of credit but i put it up there because some people don't get approved so a backup would be an overdraft line of credit to help you get started. Those are a little bit easier to get approved for, especially if you have uh, a good relationship with that specific bank. Okay, JSC Federal Credit Union, they also offer overdraft line of credit. Texas Bank and Trust, they offer personal line of credit. Neighborhood Credit Union, they also offer personal line of credit. Um, the interest rates that I've been seeing are depending on the term. So you can do like a 36 month term or like a 60 month term. Usually the, the shorter terms are, are lower interest than the higher terms, if I'm not mistaken. I get those mixed up. The banks change them up all the time. But uh, I've been seeing like 8.9, 9.75%. Um, the highest one I've seen for you guys is 12%. Um, but I'm sure that is all based on your credit. So having good credit is what's going to help you not only get approved, but also get a, a lower interest rate. You have Lone Star Credit Union. When I try to figure out the, uh, the limits, like what, up to what amount do they offer, it didn't show. So when it doesn't show what their limits are typically they have a higher limit so when a bank does show it hey we offer a personal line of credit up to 15k then that's their that's their cutoff point but if they if you're on the bank you're on their website and it says yeah we offer a personal line of credit and all you see is yeah we offer it then they might have a little more you know uh, wiggle room like they might offer as high as 25 30 40 50 K uh, prestige community credit union they offer personal line of credit up to 15 K and then city credit union they also offer personal line of credit now I was just focusing on personal lines of credit uh, for people that do not have homes some of these banks do offer home equity line of credit but please read between the lines because the banks will confuse you. They'll confuse themselves, especially when you're asking questions, when you're asking about these types of banking products because they're gonna push you to apply for a loan rather than a line almost all the time. They're trained to do this. Um, another thing I would say is yes, uh, some of these banks do offer the home equity line of credit, but it's like shielded around a home equity loan. So really pay attention. Make sure it's a home equity line, not a home equity loan, okay? Literally, the standards, like they look the same. 
but as soon as that thing says loan, you want to get out of there. Some pointers that you want to avoid when you're looking at these different banks in your area, in Texas, is try to avoid fees, try to avoid withdrawal limits, meaning I want to be able to have a line of credit or HELOC that I can pull out $20 if I wanted to at any moment or $20,000 or $2,000. Like I don't want to have limits. There are some home equity uh, credit lines that I've seen on some Texas banks where it's like, yeah, you can, um, it's revolving, it's simple interest, and you know, it, it's open, it's, it meets all the, the criteria, but you can only take out $4,000 at a time. So you have to take out 4000 That's not going to be helpful for us, especially if I'm working with someone that only makes four grand a month or five grand a month or even 10 grand a month. It's not going to make sense. Okay. So we want to have that window where, yes, it's revolving daily interest rate. Try to keep the, uh, the interest rate on any debt tool you shoot for try to keep it below 15%. If you're getting um, a, a line of credit or a HELOC, not a HELOC, a line of credit with an interest rate above 15%, then, hey, your credit's most likely not that great, but you got approved. So, you know, you're in a much better position than a lot of my other viewers who are terrible credit, terrible income, terrible everything when it comes to their finances. So, you know, you're in a much better zone there. So just shoot for a low below 15% when you when you start hitting the 18s 19s you can do velocity banking it's just we have to be very very careful with our with our chunking we have to really make sure we're offsetting that cost of borrowing and um, you definitely want to make sure that those withdrawal limits that like I said I can I can pull out money whenever I want put it back in and there's no limitations to the amount of withdrawals I want unlimited withdrawals with any line of credit that I get approved for or HELOC for that matter. So I hope this was really helpful to my Texas people because I love you guys and I have a ton of clients in Texas. I will be doing videos like this for other states so that you guys have all the information that you need to get this thing going, right? And then working with me one-on-one, -on -one, joining my Velocity Banking Masterclass or my membership program have a lot of different services at many different price levels, all affordable really for anyone that is committing to their financial goals and their desires to be financially free and debt free. My name is Denzel. Hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.